morning guys and welcome back to my channel today i am bringing you a poundland haul so i just quickly tell you what i did so I dropped the kids off at school and then um obviously it's the last day for sort of going out and doing a few bits because some of the shops are closing today because it's wednesday lockdown starts tomorrow so i needed to just pick up a couple of bits um really more Christmassy wise just because we like to put our tree up on the 1st of December and lockdown is finished in the 2nd maybe we really don't know so I just want to pick up a couple of bits I need wrapping paper and I had to do my food shop anyway so I thought it was a good time to just sort of pick up a couple of bits in Asda as well and I did notice that they were taking away the toys in some of the areas so I've got a feeling that they are going to start not letting you buy stuff, only proper essential stuff from tomorrow. So I'm quite glad I did pick up a couple of bits. But I'm not going to show you because I have actually been to, I've been to Sports Direct, I've been to JD, I've done a super drug um, shop, a Matalan shop, and then I bought some stuff in Asda. But I'm not going to show you any of that because it is for Christmas and I don't want people to see. Um, but I can show you my palette. So I didn't realise, but Poundland is staying open, but so is Superdrug. I rushed there to get a couple of Christmas presents. Um, so I didn't have to just order it online because I had points on my um, Superdrug card to use. And they're staying open. Their class is essential because they sell medicine. So there you go. So I'm quite surprised by that, which I'm happy about because it means that people are still staying in their jobs and they can work. That's what counts. Um... Right, so let me get on with it. So first I'm going to show you, because I just took these out, because I put I wrapped these in something I bought Lexi, and it's clothing item, so I wrapped them up nice. So I got three little penguin cups. Look how cute they are. Just black, little little hot chocolate mugs. Um, and I'm going to decorate them myself. Um, I have bought the kids the um, hot chocolate bombs, um, which will be ready. So they'll be ready to just put with this little mug on one of the days in December. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, really cute for a pound each. I mean, we've got that many mugs. I think I renew their mugs like every year. But yeah, so that's what I started with. Oh, I didn't buy this in Poundland. No, I bought this little work. I did a, wor a works um, shop as well. My arms were just like draping. I had to go and get myself a... Um, Terry's chocolate orange Costa I had. That was my treat today. But yeah, I've picked this up for Alphys when he arrives so we can go to work with Dad. How cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to die when he sees this. But yeah. But that wasn't actually from Poundland, guys. That's from the works if you do want to know. They had, they had a lot more range. There was nothing in Poundland for um, the little bad elves. But yeah, I'm... Um, that was irrelevant because it's not Poundland. But yeah, so I picked up some slow cooker liners. Um, you sort of see, they just go inside. I've never used these before. have no idea even if they work. But, you know, I use my slow cooker quite a lot in the winter. You get five bags and they're 30 centimetres by 55 centimetres. Um, and that looks pretty similar to my. I reckon they'll fit, but... Aren't they a, a nasty job to clean all the time? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this uh, probably the weekend when I'm not working, so that I can um, keep an eye. Right, I've got some um, Fabulousa, and it is a concentrated Fabulousa disinfectant all-in-one disinfectant spray for hard and soft surfaces, and it's called Precious Gold. <sighs> it smells absolutely lovely. I'm just literally going to just whew, spray it out. Yeah, smells so nice. I'm I'm using the um, other disinfectant, Daisy Chains. That is amazing. That's my favourite, all-time favourite, that one. But this one, I thought, oh, I'll pick a level one up while I'm in there. So, yeah, try this one, guys. This is really nice. I just picked up some gift bows, just different colours to stick on um, relatives' presents. I've got a couple of glass bits in it, so I've got to try and be careful. Um, some gift tags ready for the presents, the bows. I already bought the wrapping paper, as I said to you, out of Primark yesterday. So, for that. Oh, 
also got this. Um, I think it doesn't actually say what it is, but it's glass. So it's got like little um, silver snowflakes on and like little like clear speckles in the inside. But it's got a hole in. So I think you would put a tea light under it. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm going to use it for. So what I'll do is I'll light a little tea light, stick it under and see if it does actually glow. If not, then I suppose it could be an ornament. But just bought that for the living room once we've got the tree up. What else we've got? Right, I've got some chocolate Smarties. Um, wait there and I'll show you why. I'm back. Right, so... This year, the kids have got their, um, like, toy advent calendar or, like, accessory calendar. And then they also always have a chocolate one off me. I usually do buy one from um, Asda, like, a nice one, though, five, six pound one, not the pound ones. But this year, I thought I was going to change my mind. In the works, they've got these empty ones, four pounds. And you fill it yourself, basically. But it's quite a big um, gap in each one. And then the 24th one here is like you put something bigger in it. So that's why I've got the three of those to go with their usual ones. Then I've I've bought um, like lots of sweets because that will fit in to the gap nicely. And then like, like these, for instance, they've just got like little bars. I'm going to squeeze, it will be a squeeze in as well. Um, and I don't know where the other one, I bought like um, the lint um, reindeers, um, Santas and that and I'm going to refill that. But I'm actually going to do a different um, video on DIY advent calendars nearer the time. So I will show you that then. I've got this little man, look at this little Christmas gonk it says. So he's got no eyeballs, so he's hiding under his hat. But yeah, this will look really nice with my tree. Just on the side with some twinkly lights. So he's quite cute, isn't he? And he obviously stands on his own. So I picked that up. There was only two left, so I quickly nabbed him. And I did check around because sometimes they get a bit, like, dishevelled, don't they? And a bit dirty. So I'm quite glad I found him. Um, I picked up these two tree baubles. Um, yeah, nothing special about them really. <laughs> they're just baubles, but they're nice big ones. I like big ones on my tree. And these are the last two as well, so I just picked them up because, of, like I said, I like to put my tree up. I've got some more decoration, I think. I think. Okay, yeah, so I bought these as well, and it says let it snow, so I just bought two of those. And I've got like little snowflakes on them. So they'll go on the tree as well. It's the best part in it. I, I get so excited about putting my tree up. Right, I'm going to put this on my lap because it's just like annoying me now. Right, I also picked up some little shower gels. Stra they're strawberry uh, scent. It doesn't smell of it, you can't smell, but it's got like a little reindeer and a little Santa in. Perfect stocking filler. Uh, so I will put that away for that. Another stocking filler I picked up was bath slime. Keep bath time fun with super messy bath slime. And it's bubble gum. It might be sealed, to be honest. Yeah, so it's sealed. Probably going to regret getting this, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little tub of bath time slime. I picked up another stocking filler, and this is called Ring Tricks. Now, I saw these in the works, but they were a little bit more, and then they were in Panland, so... But they're glow in the dark, and they're magnetic, and you, sort of, you stick them on your fingers, and then it shows you at the back, there's like different tricks you can do, like moving your fingers around... Um, you can even play hockey and track and Hot Wheels with them. So you like line them up and you can flip them and they stick together, stuff like that. So just another little stocking filler. They had a couple of different colours as well. So like I said earlier, I've picked up these just to go in the advent calendars. Um, 
another stocking filler so a surprise a mole so it's basically just a little you can just sort of see the pictures it doesn't want to focus but yeah they're just little tiny stuff animal that you would perfect stocking filler I've also got some more that's what I did actually I picked up a few stocking fillers in in the other shops as well because stocking fillers are a bit hard to buy online because if you only want one or two feeds you've got to be postage every time so I thought I'm just going to go out and just try and grab a few bits um before having to worry because I really I just feel like we're going to have more restrictions even after the 2nd of December so I've got a Land of Nod bath powder. I wanted this the last time I did a Poundland run, but they didn't have it in ours, but they've got it all now. Relaxing and calming lavender with essential oils to aid a good night's sleep. So stocking filler. And then I bought the Land of Nod shower gel. Exactly the same, but it's just a shower gel. Um, don't know who I'm going to give it to. Well, this one will be for Blake because the girls don't bath. Shower gel, I'm not sure. Might even be just be like now. I I bought this for myself. Um, and it is the land of nod again, but it's a pillow spray. Um, relaxing because I'm not sleeping very well at night at the moment. So I just thought that I would just give it a go. Um, because I'm not actually sure if it's child friendly, to be perfectly honest with you. I had I didn't read the label, it was super busy in parallel, like the cube was going all the way around the aisles in all four aisles so it was i think everybody's rushed out not realizing that they're actually staying open but um yeah so it says spray three to four times on the pillow before going to sleep uh avoid contact spray in the eye unlikely event of information blah 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 but yeah so pillow spray i'm going to try that tonight Last thing. Last two things. So I've also got some, these are for Blake, paper chains for him to make during um, the end of December ready to put up ready when we do our tree. Just got like little snowmans on, Merry Christmas, sort of, a, my, this is my colour theme so I was quite happy to find this for him to be able to do and I think that'll stick together with a Pritt stick so nice and easy. Last thing, I bought a cosy hot water bottle. Um... Obviously, it's only a smaller size one. You can sort of see how big it is. But I picked this up uh, for Chanel because uh, when she has her monthly, she, she gets quite a lot of cramps and pains um, in her stomach. So I thought this would be quite nice for her just to fill up, rest on her belly and um, and keep warm at the same time while she's laid in bed. So yeah, that's um that's, ev that's everything that I bought out of Poundland today. Like I said, mine's a bit pants but you know they are starting to get stuff in now but I wanted to do it today because I just feel like we need to self-isolate at the same time while the month lockdown is on like just go to work do the food shop and do school and that is literally it so we're going to stick to the rules um so yeah I've got I've got lots of wrapping to do in these other bags that you can't see so I'm going to get them wrapped up and put all this away out of our uh, children's eyes because they like to have a little nose in my room now so I wrap as I go like I said like all of this I wrapped all the stuff I bought yesterday it's literally all wrapped um I'm a wrap and go person so I hope you're all having a lovely day and I shall see you in a couple of days now I'm going to give you a day's break and then I shall see you soon uh when uh I've got my deliveries they're still turning up like one was supposed to be here today, I haven't had it yet. It might come later, but we'll see. So yeah, have a lovely day, guys, and I shall catch up with you real, real soon. Bye for now.